Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of writing linear equations. This is standard A.2C in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 2 off the 2021 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a graph of a linear function here. We need to find the function that is best represented by this graph. Now, stick around to the end of the video because you can actually solve this visually in about three seconds. But I will show that at the end first. Let's do it the official way, the way that your teacher would be satisfied with. First, we need to find the slope. So if we look on our reference materials, we are going to see that our slope formula has not changed for the past few years, change in y over change in x, rise over run. They do not give you any points, but you can supply them easily enough. And it looks like we've got our two intercepts. So let's, let's just use those. 6, 0, and then that is going to be 0, 4. We do have, it looks like we've got a point right there. If we really wanted to, that's going to be 3, 2. And it looks like we got another one up there, negative 3, 6. And we can keep going, but that looks, we've got enough. So we can, we can pick any, any X's and any Y's. I'm going to, if I can't pick intercepts, those are good. So I'm going to make this my X1 and my Y1. I'm going to make this my x2 and y2. Intercepts are good because you have a zero in there. It makes subtracting a lot easier. I could have flipped those, and I could have made the 6, 0, the x2, y2. It doesn't really matter. As long as they're on that line, it's all going to get you the exact same slope. So y2 is 4, y1 is 0, see, 4 minus 0. And then x2 is 0, x1 is 6. All right, so that's going to be... 4, negative 6, so simplify that to negative 2 thirds. Could have done that with that right there, right? If I made this my x2 and my y2, made this my x1 and my y1, would have been the same thing. It would have been 2 minus 6 over 3 minus negative 3, right? And that would have been negative 4, and that's going to end up being positive. And look at that, negative 4 over 6, so that's going to be negative 2 thirds. So either way you do it, you're going to get that same slope. So that's what our m is, our slope. So we're looking at the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and so now we've got this negative 2 thirds. That's our slope, and so we simply need to find the y-intercept. Now, visually, we can see, and we've already plotted the point, we've already got the y-intercept. So you could just put it as a positive 4. The, the line crosses the, the y-axis at positive 4. But if we did not have it visually like that, there are two different ways we can do it. We can plug in a number. So let's just plug in some coordinates here. Let's plug in that 6, 0. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my 0 as my y. I'm going to do negative 2 thirds as my m. I'm going to plug in my 6 as my x. And I can just now try to isolate that b. So 0 equals, that's going to be negative 4 plus b. I need to add 4 to both sides to get that 4 over the other side. And guess what? 4 equals b which is what we got. So our answer here is going to be replacing, and I could have done that, or I could have done my point slope form. That also works. Uh, still having to plug in an x and a y, that will uh, get you the slope intercept form if you just plug in the m, an x, and a y. Now, so our answer here is going to be this negative two-thirds x plus four. I said you can do this in about three seconds. Look, it's a negative slope because it's going down, which means it can't be f, can't be g. Y-intercept is four, so my answer is j.